Hey guys, how you doing? Um, Y'all are probably doing a lot better than me right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, so I had the duathlon on Sunday, which was just fucking amazing. Like, it, it really was. Like, okay, let's, okay, let's, let's start with that. Okay, that was, that was just fucking incredible. It really was. Like, the, the event was just amazing. Um, like, it was just so great to see athletes of all skill levels um, just giving it a go. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, while, while I'm out on the course, I'm watching people who are doing the, the full distance. You know, I'm, I, was, I was only doing the sprint distance. Um, so I was doing the, the five, the 20, the two and a half. Um, and whereas other people were doing the, the full distance, so the, the, the 10, the, what was it? I think it was the 10, the 40, and the five. And there are guys out there and guys and girls out there doing the full distance that are just like leaving me for dead. And other ones which, you know, I'm sort of there and keeping up and keeping a similar pace with. And I'm just like, you know what? You know, you guys are just awesome. Like everybody was just awesome just for giving it a go. And then there was like uh, enticer ones, which were, I think was, I think that one was like a, a 1K, like a 5 the uh, well, I think it was probably like a 1k, a 3k, and like a like 500 meter or something, like a really short one. And just seeing people just giving it a go and just giving it a crack was just amazing. Um, and then it had like some kids events, like some, some youth events as well. And that was really cool to see, um, see people sort of like doing those as well. And that was just, you know, it was just a great event. It's a great opportunity. Um, for me, it was just the, the other thing that really got it, it was just the support of people, especially like. As I said in a, in a previous vlog, um, I, I joined the local tri club, so the, the Bayside club, and um, you know, you know, I'm I'm gonna sort of reiterate something that I said in that vlog as well is find a club, you know, find a find a club, um, and and as I said in that vlog as well, like some clubs are welcoming to to newbies and some aren't. Um, find one that is welcoming <laughs> to newbies and does appreciate you for because the the. The, the, the people from Bayside were just fucking amazing with how supportive they were. Like, it was so cool. Like, okay, so, so get this right. Um, the, 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 the head coach of the club, my coach, um, Toby, he was doing the full distance. And the full distance guys, um, they started off before us sprinters did. Um, and when we started, he was at the front of the pack. He ended up winning, by the way. Like, he just smashed his age group. He just destroyed his age group. He was freaking amazing. Um, now, as he, as we, as I'm starting out, as I'm starting out in the, um, in the sprint, he's finishing the run and coming down, back down the opposite way to me to come down into transition. He's taken a moment out of his race and said, go Tristan. Like, I'm just like, I like, you know, it was like, it took me a second to process who said that as I was like, running out. I'm like, oh my God, he's like running his own race and just took a moment out of that to say, you know, to wish me luck. And there's people on the side and people cheering and people cheering just for everybody, for people, for, for random strangers, which is so cool. And hearing, but hearing your names called out um, by if you're like club members and stuff is just so cool and really helps you like dig, 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 dig a bit deeper and it's really cool. And yeah, I, I really sort of say find a club, find someone that can help you because the amount of advice and like learning you'll get from doing that is just fucking amazing. Like it's outstanding. Like you'll pick up so many hints, so many tips um, and make connections um, and get the support um, that, you know, YouTube videos can only go so far, um, then you actually need sort of need people on the ground. And that's what a club can be really good for. So yeah, find a club, find a club. If just find one that supports you, um, that sort of yeah, encourages, that embraces your journey um, and supports you on your journey. So yeah, do that. So yeah, that's that's my sort of project. Anyway, um, so we, but now we're gonna sort of get like the other reason why I'm a bit shit at the moment. So I, did something to my knee a few weeks ago. Um, oh, not my, not my knee, my hip. Um, I don't know what I did. I, I'm pretty sure it was after squad one night. I just pushed a little too hard. Um, I know I just turned on it wrong or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's been niggling me and annoying me um, for a few weeks. Um, I did jetty, and 
it was sore, but not too bad. But it was still like, okay, all right. So afterwards, like, you know, it's like, yeah, I got some physio again before and after it, and that's fine. Um, after Sunday, though, I could barely walk. Like, it was just, it was fucked. It was not good. Um, and I basically went and saw the physio, and the physio's, physio's like, yeah, you're not running anytime soon. No running for you, which... I never thought this would happen, but it was just devastating for me. I'm devastated when he said that. Um, he sort of gave me a caveat. He sort of said, okay, like, yeah, go for an MRI. He sent me a package me off for an MRI. Uh, and I go to see the, the sports doc um, uh, in a couple of days to get the results from that. Um, and he said, you know, you can, you know, we'll, we'll review it after we've seen the results from the MRI. Um, but that's really gutting because I've never, I haven't realized how much therapy running's become. And it's something that's, you know, come across, I've seen a few people talk about, um, uh, this was one of the, this was one of the people that I follow on Instagram, um, uh, Amanda Kennedy, I think, um, she's a, she's a triathlete, um, and just amazing. Um, yeah, yeah Amanda Kennedy, yeah. Um, she's a triathlete, she's amazing. Um, she posted something that, you know, that running is, 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 is therapy. It truly is. Uh, and I didn't realize how much therapy and how important running had become to me because this is me. This is someone who a year ago couldn't run a kilometer, like could walk, well, could barely run a K like actually, no, actually, no, I'll take it back. I could, I couldn't run a kilometer. You know, this is a year ago. I couldn't do that. Now I can. And you know, now I'm doing half marathons and shit. And it's like, you know what? running's really become a true therapy because you can just switch off. You can just switch hand control of you to, to, over to your body and just let the K's just like, you know, the K's, the meters just fall away. Like there's something special and amazing about that. And I think that now that I'm sort of faced with a period of, an, an, an indeterminate period of when I don't know how long I can not have that for, that fucking terrified me. It really did. Anyway, but, but anyway, so, but they, they've sort of said, okay, but you can sort of cycle for short distances and you can do some swimming, so low impact stuff. So anyway, I, long story short, I got up this morning really mopey. I've had a shit couple of nights at work um, and just being hit with that and not knowing which train. I was supposed to do, like, uh, I wanted to do, I was originally planning on doing like a, a 10, 10, 15k run today. And I was like, well, I can't run. That fucking sucks. And I was just mopey and gutted and shit and anyway uh then i was like okay got some inspiration uh again another instagram a bit of instagram um uh inspiration and just sort of went okay um you know what maybe maybe it can actually get some get some just it just needed a bit of reminding that you know what, just because I can't run doesn't mean I can't do stuff. Uh, you know, the, the physio said that, you know, I've got other things that I can do. Um, I can do swimming, I can do cycling. So, okay. So I went out, I, Amart All Sports had a sale on freaking swim gear. So I'm like, okay, I needed some flippers. I've got myself some flippers. So I went and swam and you know what, just doing something suddenly made me feel better again. And I'm sure there's like a scientific explanation of like release of endorphins from exercise and all this kind of crap on the weather. But you know what? I was doing something and that's really important. And I think that's what I want to talk to you guys about today is that I want to tell you guys about today is that, you know what? You're going to have times, you're going to have things that are going to disillusion you. Something's going to happen. Shit's going to come up. Something, a spanner's going to be thrown in the works where you can't do something or something's going to be harder than normal. And you know what? That's fine. It, it, it happens. Life happens happens it really does and it's about what you do next with it though it's about do you just you you have two choices you can either throw in the towel um or you can go you know what let's work with this and do something else and, and work around it work with it adapt it whatever um it, it, as, it gets, as i said it goes back to an, it's an old saying that, that i need as i said i need a reminding of this morning uh which is if you want something badly enough you'll find a way if you don't you will find an excuse. Um, I almost found my excuses, uh, in, but instead I found a way. So yeah, that's that's what it is, guys. It's about 
find something that works for you. Find something, adapt to the situation because not everything is going to be nice and comfortable and easy. It's not. It's, you're going to have to adapt. So there you go. That's my little bit of words of wisdom. And uh, now I'm making some dinner because, or dinner slash breakfast, it's because now we head off to work. So fun times, yay. Uh, night shift, gotta love it. Anyway, all right. So yeah, I said, I just wanted to check in, let you guys know that I'm feeling a bit shit because I'm not running at the moment, but um, it's part of the challenges that we have in life. And so I'm going to take a full advantage of this time. Uh, I am going to work on my stroke, work a bit more swimming, and I am going to try and master uh, my um, get building cleats. I'm going to buy a set of cleats tomorrow and take my first possible steps on my bike that terrifies me that's sitting in the corner over here that I still haven't ridden yet because it doesn't have flat pedals, it's got cleat pedals and uh, I'm gonna buy them anyway, that's terrifying anyway. Okay, so um I'm gonna go do that in here, go have breakfast, dinner, Brenna, Brenna, there you go. New word, new word for everybody, Brenna. And uh yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um don't forget as always to like th again thanks for the support guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, uh and I will catch you on the next vlog. Alright. Take it easy, guys. Bye.